Imagine a future where cars glide through the darkness, not on gasoline or even lithium, but powered entirely by the energy they generate themselves. No charging, no fueling, just motion. But what happens when the sun goes down? Are self-powered cars ready for night? Introducing the technology, self-powered vehicles, often driven by breakthrough energy coils, magnetic propulsion, or ambient energy capture, have stunned the world with their daytime range and eco-efficiency. But when the stars emerge and the world dims, a crucial question surfaces. Can these cars adapt to night driving without compromising performance? Light consumption and energy demands. Nighttime driving isn't just about reduced visibility. It's about increased energy demand. Headlights, dashboard lights, navigation systems, climate control, all of these add pressure to the self-sustaining energy systems. And in self-powered cars, where energy is often generated in real time, that pressure could lead to performance trade-offs. Testing on dark roads. In recent trials in southern Africa and parts of rural Asia, engineers pushed the limits. Could the coil technology keep up with night demands? Could regenerative systems feed power fast enough when ambient energy drops? Surprisingly, some models held strong. Innovations in photon-sensitive coatings and road friction energy capture compensated for low light, but not all performed equally. Maxwell's response. Maxwell Chikambutso, the Zimbabwean pioneer behind self-powering tech, responded boldly. The night is not the enemy, he said. It's just a test of balance. If we build smarter systems, the night becomes fuel itself. In his latest prototype, the chassis acts as an energy harvester, drawing power from motion, even when the skies are pitch black. Unexpected challenges. But it's not all smooth driving. Extreme cold, fog, and rural darkness present real-time AI navigation problems. The lack of light data limits smart obstacle detection unless supported by LiDAR and heat mapping systems, which, again, require more energy. A self-powered car narrowly avoiding wildlife on a rural road. The rise of night-aware AI systems. To conquer the night, AI had to evolve. Traditional navigation systems, based on visible light and GPS, simply weren't enough in remote or low-visibility conditions. That's where multi-sensory AI came in. Maxwell's latest models now combine thermal imaging ground map radar, ambient sound analysis, real-time obstacle prediction algorithms. Together, these systems allow the vehicle to see beyond darkness, navigating roads even when visibility hits zero. Maxwell's AI Motion Link. In a stunning demonstration, a self-powered Maxwell prototype drove 30 kilometers at midnight through forest terrain. With its headlights off, guided entirely by its AI Motion Link system, the onboard AI didn't just react. It predicted deer crossing, detected through heat signals, a sharp turn ahead, calculated by terrain mapping and road memory, energy smart decisions. But there's another side to the story, conservation. At night, energy is scarce. So the AI also acts as an energy strategist, prioritizing systems, dimming interior lights when not needed, and even controlling the cabin temperature to reduce unnecessary draw from coil. The car smoothly dims its displays as the road clears, then brightens again approaching traffic. It's not just intelligent. It's aware. Public reception and pilot programs. In cities like Gaborone, Nairobi, and parts of California, pilot programs are already underway. Families test these cars during night commutes. Emergency services use them in blackout zones. Some report feeling safer in these AI-guided machines than in traditional vehicles. A night without limits. And so... What began as a bold experiment is quickly becoming a global shift. Self-powered cars are no longer day-bound inventions. With adaptive AI, intelligent energy flow, and Maxwell's relentless innovation, the night is no longer a barrier. It's the next frontier. Infrastructure reacts. Smart roads for smart cars. With the rise of night-driving self-powered cars, infrastructure is racing to catch up. Maxwell's innovation sparked global momentum, leading cities to install smart road enhancements, photovoltaic lane markers that charge during the day and illuminate at night, embedded communication chips that sync with passing cars, adaptive traffic systems that relay weather and traffic data in real time, 
it's no longer just about the car. It's about building an ecosystem where machine and road speak the same language. International race to copy Maxwell. From Tokyo to Berlin, automakers and governments are scrambling. Some are reverse engineering night vision AI. Others are developing alternative coil tech, trying to replicate Maxwell's legendary power loop. But there's a problem. They may copy the form. But the core innovation, Maxwell's patented self-sustaining energy feedback system, is untouchable. Maxwell engineers looking over a plasma coil core in a sealed lab. Maxwell's silent deal with the future. While others rush to keep up, Maxwell remains silent. Its labs working round the clock. Insiders whisper about something new. An upgrade that makes night driving even safer than daytime. Rumors hint at neural AI that learns your unique driving habits. Emotion aware interiors that adjust lighting and ambience based on passenger mood. Quantum positioning that's immune to GPS outages. Night, the new day. What once was feared, the night, the unknown, is now dominated by intelligence. Maxwell's tiny coil didn't just change cars, it reshaped our trust in the dark. And as more families, cities, and countries adopt this luminous future, one thing becomes clear we no longer drive into the night. With hesitation, we drive into it with purpose. First-hand impact, stories from the streets. Technology isn't real until it touches lives, and Maxwell self-powered cars are doing just that. Mia Mina, a nurse in Nairobi who now commutes through previously dangerous routes, safely, silently, and sustainably, or Jamal, a gig worker in Lagos, who doubled his earnings because Maxwell's vehicle runs without a single drop of fuel or a charging stop. I just drive. The car takes care of the rest. It's like the city woke up at night. The security question, hackers, grids, and Maxwell's response. Cyber analysts looking at digital traffic grids. Dramatic clip of a hacking attempt being blocked. With great power comes great risk. As night driving, Maxwell fleets grow. So do the threats, grid hackers, deep fake traffic signals, AI. But Maxwell's cars aren't just smart. Their defensive by design, encrypted self-learning protocols, mesh networks that share anomalies between vehicles, real-time override systems that detect and isolate manipulation. The message is clear: you can't hack what thinks for itself. Night City 2030, Maxwell's vision unfolds. Fast forward to 2030, Maxwell self-powered fleet is no longer the exception; it's the new standard. Cities redesign themselves for night-first economies with 24/7 smart delivery lanes, zero emission zones, sleep-optimized transit pods, autonomous rescue units that deploy at night without human input. This isn't science fiction. This is Maxwell's long game. Fuel is history. Silence is speed. And night, night has become our greatest ally. The aerial whisper, Maxwell's next frontier. As the world slept, Maxwell soared. Rumors had swirled for years. Whispers of a prototype known only by its code name, Spectra. Not a car, not a plane, but something in between. Tonight, in the quiet above Cape Town, the Spectra glided. No runway, no pilot, no emissions. Just pure autonomous lift, powered by the same self-recharging magnetic coil system that stunned the automotive world. Global response from denial to dependence, from denial to disbelief to dependence. As Maxwell's fleet grew from 50 to 50,000 units in under a year, governments that once mocked the tech are now bidding for it. Fuel industries bleeding, utility companies scrambling, legacy car makers racing to reverse engineer what they don't even fully understand. The man behind the miracle, Maxwell speaks. A dimly lit stage, a spotlight reveals Maxwell Chikambutso in his signature quiet, confident stance before an eager global audience. I didn't build this to impress the world. I built it because the world stopped listening to Africa's ideas. But we never stopped dreaming, and now we power the dream. The last road test in the heart of the Kalahari, in the dead of night, across Africa's most isolated terrains, a final test was underway. No charging stations. No satellite guidance. Only Maxwell self-powered car navigating through darkness with nothing but his internal intelligence and a single goal: to prove it could survive where no machine dared. 
Most electric cars would fail. But this wasn't just electric. It was alive with its own current. The car slowed, calculated, shifted internal energy, shielded itself. Then, with a sudden flash of adaptive headlights piercing the dust, it moved forward. The return, a world changed forever. From a tiny garage in Harare, to deserts, jungles, and megacities, Maxwell's vision reshaped what we thought was possible. The night, once a challenge, is now an opportunity. Where others saw danger, Maxwell saw a proving ground. He didn't just build a car. He ignited a movement. The legacy, power to the people. Fuel is finite. Innovation is not. The age of fuel is gone. The age of self-reliance has begun. And it all started with one man, one coil, and the courage to drive into the dark so the world could wake up to light.